A local organization decided the best way to address poverty is to actually listen to the women who have experienced it. The Women's Fund formed an advisory council from women who have lived in poverty. Their job, decide how to distribute $50,000 in grants to local nonprofits that help women who are working to become self-sufficient. One barrier many women face is something called the cliff effect. It's when a small raise or career advancement actually hurts more than it helps. I want to make more money, but if I get one dollar raise, then, oh no, I'm going to lose my health insurance or I'm going to lose my child care vouchers. And joining me now is the author of the article, Lucy May. Lucy, what is probably the most salient thing you learned from researching this story? Well, this is something that affects thousands of families across greater Cincinnati. And one kind of number, a couple of numbers that really jumped out mm -hmm. at me, Megan Cummings of the Women's Fund said that women can get as little as $2,000 a year in terms of a raise and lose up to $14,000 in benefits. And then it doesn't balance it out. It doesn't That's balance. That's why we call it the cliff, exactly. right? Exactly. They fall okay. off this financial cliff and just when they're trying to get ahead, they're worse off than they were when they started. Wow. So the Women's Fund has been working for years to research this issue, to come up with policy recommendations, to really stop so many women and families from kind of falling off this financial cliff. But what they did that I just thought was so terrific is they've now involved women who have lived this problem, some of whom are still living it and trying to work their way through it. And they've given those women this decision-making power to say, hey, there are nonprofits in the community that are trying to help women attain self-sufficiency. Let's let these experts, these women who have lived this situation, mm -hmm. make the decisions about where to give this 50, the $50,000 in grant money. So yeah. it was really empowering for these women and they came up with really you know, great solutions. Let's talk about any one of those solutions just so we have an idea. Well, one of them that mm -hmm. might surprise some of our viewers, they decided to give a grant to a, an organization that helps women build businesses. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of people think of people living in poverty as wanting some kind of quick solution or a program or some kind of quick band-aid. These women are really interested in long-term solutions and They're building the wealth. Future. They're looking at the future. They, yeah. they want to get out of poverty, of course, but they also want to build wealth for their families long-term. And they see entrepreneurship and building businesses as an important way to do that. So they helped fund a program that is helping women work their way out of poverty by becoming business owners, um, raising their wages, and building wealth for the future. So I thought that was really terrific. So technically, they're bridging the gap so that there is no cliff. De definitely. Ultimately. Yep. yep, that's the goal. All right, yeah. Lucy May, thank you.